This house that was once inhabited by the Queen of Pop, Madonna for a short period of time during the 90s is now abandoned. And for this reason it does not have too much furniture inside, although the presence of a large stone fireplace that decorates what was once the main room stands out. One can only imagine how each of them could have looked like in the past. The residence has a lobby, a dining room, a living room, a games room, an indoor pool, a bar, an attic, among other rooms. The kitchen, which is open and quite spacious, is another of the rooms that attracts reflections, as it still has its coffee-colored pantry, with some appliances, a central island to prepare food, as well as a small dining area. Breakfast Nook the basement area, where the games room and pool are located, are underwater, which makes it a real source of infection. From the upper part of the house, where the bedrooms are located, there is a very nice view of a golf course, which, perhaps, did not yet exist in the times when Madonna walked through the area. Despite its state of neglect, the house is not as destroyed as other residences of similar characteristics, as there are only some broken windows, some looted furniture and some scratched doors, but so far its walls, and even its pool table, have been spared vandalism. As we all know, Madonna is known for her constant reinvention as a performer. She is a pop music singer and actress who went solo in 1981 and became a sensation in the then male-dominated 1980s music scene. In January 2008, she was named the world's wealthiest female musician by Forbes magazine. Her parents' strict observation of the Catholic faith played a large role in Madonna's childhood. Many elements of Catholic iconography including her mother's statues of the Sacred Heart, the habits of the nuns at her Catholic elementary school, and the Catholic altar at which she and her family prayed daily, later became the subject of Madonna's most controversial works. Haunted by the memories of her mother's frailty and passive demeanor during her final days, Madonna was determined to make her own voice heard. I think the biggest reason I was able to express myself and not be intimidated was by not having a mother, she says. For example, mothers teach you manners. And I absolutely did not learn any of those rules and regulations. She rebelled against her traditional upbringing by turning her conservative clothing into revealing outfits, frequenting underground gay nightclubs and rejecting her religious background. As always, Madonna mixed her drive for success with her penchant for scandalous behavior. It started with her controversial 1985 performance of her hit single, Like a Virgin, which involved writhing around suggestively on stage in a wedding dress. Despite the public outcry, Madonna had become more popular than ever. So, what do you think of Madonna's house? Let us know in the comment down below.